Hello, I'm Artifacts Mars, and this is Election Day. And in response to Election Day, the federal government is planning if they're planning an attack on the Russians, a uh, cyber attack, if they say that the Russians have launched a cyber attack on us. They're planning to attack them. The translation of this is, if Donald Trump wins, or it looks like he's winning, then it's the Russians' fault. There's no, there's no way to win. We're supposed to, we're just supposed to give the election to Hillary, hologram Hillary. Uh, you know, it's just gearing up for an unprecedented effort protect Tuesday's presidential election from cyber attack, U.S. officials told NBC News. There are a lot of eyes on this presidential election more than there normally would be, a senior Obama administration official said. Cyber centers at the Department of Homeland Security, Justice Department, and the FBI, as well as Pentagon, CIA, and other intelligence agencies will be on alert with extra staff hunting for any possible threat. Concerns so high intelligent, uh, intelligence officials told NBC that for the first time hundreds of military intelligence cyber experts will, who work out of top secret facilities including underground bunkers be monitoring intelligence about the U.S. presidential election. They will react to any threat the federal government's communication command systems. It's all hands on deck, a senior intelligence official said. The U.S. officials have accused Russia of using its cyber operations to meddle in the election, hacking in the Democratic Party accounts, and leaking the material to embarrass the Hillary Clinton campaign. The problem with that is that uh, it's already been shown that people within our own government, it's not Russia doing this. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. American officials are worried that Russia, so that's, that is a lie. American officials are worried about Russia who will use cyber capabilities to try to disrupt the presidential election itself, possibly by releasing fake documents and creating bogus social media accounts designed to spread information. That is a lie. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. On Tuesday, former NATO Commander Admiral James Stavridis told CNBC his concerns about Russian Activity included a dump of false documents and an attack on the U.S. power grid. There's maybe a one in three chance of this happening, but it's not insignificant. That is bullshit. So, he said. On Friday, the hacker known as Goose for 2.0, who U.S. officials say is the front for Russian intelligence, Tweeted the threat to monitor the U.S. elections from inside the system. U.S. officials have delivered a back channel warning to Russia not to do anything that would affect the vote, but there are widespread fears of cyber mischief by hackers either from Russia or elsewhere will somehow mar the election. I'm going to break this down. If it looks like Trump's winning, they may pull a stunt. I'm with Alex Jones on this one. Don't believe it. You see it happen, it's a lie. But right here you have it. They are planning something. They've admitted it right here on National Broadcasters of Communism News Network, NBC. So they've admitted it. Or you might call them National Broadcasters for Clinton. I don't know how you want to put it. Right here you have it, though. They've admitted they're planning something. If you watch the video, it'll scare the... 
You watch the videos, it'll scare the shit out of you. I'm Artifacts Mars. Get out and vote and don't be intimidated. Go Trump. Thanks for watching.